Okay, Year 7, welcome to your video tutorial. Today we are going to have a look at negative integers. A fun reminder, this word integer here means a whole number. Roadblock, whole number. 10, 25, 36, 4022, they're all whole numbers, okay? Minus 3 is also a whole number. It's not a positive number. Don't get them too confused. It is a whole number. So you might ask, well, what's an example of not a whole number? Well, a decimal. 2.5 is not a whole number. Minus 3.5 is not a whole number. But minus 8 is, minus 25 is, negative 412 is. They're all integers because they are whole numbers. They uh, can be both positive. And now we're going to have a look at the negative, okay? Negative integers. So negative numbers are numbers that are less than zero. Examples in our world where we use negative numbers are when we're dealing with temperature and money. They're just two examples. I use them all the time, okay? A really good tool when dealing with negative numbers is a number line, okay? Now you'll notice this number line below I've drawn. It's just a line. It has evenly spaced intervals, okay? It has a zero in the middle and it goes negative to the left, positive to the right, okay? And so sometimes when you get a question that's like negative four plus six, it tends to be a bit hard sometimes to do it in our head. So we can stay on negative four and I know if I plus, I go to the right or I go positive. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's positive two. It's just a tool we use and they're really, really effective. You think, oh, I'm not drawing a line. My year tens still use them. Okay, so don't knock it till you try it. Okay, an example of what you might be asked to do with negative integers. Uh, this example here says insert the symbol less than, okay, which is the guy going this way or greater than, which is the guy going to the right, um, to make them true. So is negative 2 less than or greater than 3? Okay. Well, if I look on a number line, 0 is here, 3 is going to be there, negative 2 is going to be there, so it's less than, so I write negative 2 is less than 3. Now, this is the tricky bit. This is where it gets a little bit tricky sometimes. Is negative 1 greater than or less than negative 6? Now, with positive numbers, okay, 1 would be less than 6, okay? But when you think about it, negatives actually go the other way, okay? So I'm going to start 0 here. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, okay? Negative 6 is over here, negative 1 is over here. Think about it like temperature. What's a greater temperature? What's a warmer temperature or a greater temperature? Negative 1 or negative 6? Ooh, definitely going to be negative 1. So negative 1 is greater than negative 6, okay? Because the closer you are to 0 in the negatives, the greater the number, okay? And that's it, guys. That's a very quick overview of negative integers.